earlier in the semester, one of your assignments was to observe a few excerpts of dances and then to respond to what you saw. And it could, was really just anything and everything that you could see. Many of you found meaning in some of those excerpts and you started making logic and making sense of what you observed, which was wonderful. Another way we can look at dance, in addition to that, is to really look at those elements, time, space, energy, we can look at form. So what I thought we would do is look at an excerpt of a work that I choreographed, that I made with uh, my partner, uh, Rafael Bumela. And this work was created and performed by the students in the dance program here at San Jose State, and it was selected by a national committee to be performed at Jacob's Pillow, which is the dance hub of the country. So we traveled to Jacob's Pillow and spent the week there. And they had the opportunity to perform the work on a really famous stage. We're gonna just take a look at a few moments of it. And as we're watching it, I'll just point out a few things that are related to time, space, and energy. Um, and I can speak as we do that. So one of the things that you'll notice is that the, the force is quite gentle. So there are moments where it looks like they're floating. It's all very smooth and connected. And there are these little accents that pop out. But for the most part, in terms of force, it's quite gentle. And that was an intentional choice um, by us as the choreographers to create an idea. We used the force gentle primarily. One of the other things that um, I wanted to bring to your attention is pathways. So they never really stop moving, but all of their directions, all of their pathways are choreographed. So you'll notice that there's a lot of weaving. Someone exits, the next person comes on. They pass through. All of it is very much designed. None of it is by accident. They know exactly where to go and when. Another thing you'll notice in relationship to time, and it was a very specific and conscious choice that it never, ever, ever stops entirely. And that was our metaphor for life, that life keeps going no matter what. So it'll sometimes quicken and it'll slow down to the point where you think it's about to stop, but it never really stops. So that's how we used the element of time in this particular dance. The other thing with space is you'll notice that it was all taking place on one side of the stage. And then at a certain moment, it travels to the other side of the stage. So that was also a specific choreographic choice that we made. And again, you'll see pathways. Someone goes off, someone comes on, they turn, that next person is there just at the right moment to make contact. Sometimes there are running pathways such as right in this moment here. You can imagine that if they make even the slightest error in space or time, they would crash into each other. In terms of space, you can also see different levels. So sometimes two people go down just at the moment when someone else gets lifted into the air. I was mentioning earlier how one of my favorite things in terms of choreographing is directing the audience's eye. So it's all intentional, where as an audience member, your eye might go and my collaborator and I, we really like to layer. So we don't often use a whole lot of unison. That's when everybody's doing the same thing at the same time. We like to have lots of different things happening, but very deliberately choreographing it so that your eye goes to something specific. So here the space clears and there's only two left on. But just for a moment, just like in life, how you have a moment with someone, but before you know it, the rhythm, the motion of life picks up and more people enter. 
And you'll see the pathways idea again here, where they all have a very specific place to go. In some ways, it might look like chaos. So one person goes through, she meets this other dancer, three enter, but one stops and two go on and they go into a lift. In terms of time, it all has to be really, really exact or it doesn't work. Another element of space when we were talking about shaping, there's very little symmetry in this dance. There's a lot of asymmetry, so there's a lot of imbalance. You might have two people on one side of the stage and a whole lot of people on the other side of the stage. See those pathways, they cross in front of her as she's walking, but no one ever runs into each other, right? It's all very much designed. And here your eye is going to be directed to the gentleman lifting the woman here. Just for a moment, and then your eye gets caught up in all the other things. We still have a, a gentle force for the moment. I also mentioned the idea of repetition and themes. So there are certain themes that we created in this dance. See the two ladies again together. So that's one theme and they keep reappearing all the way throughout the dance. You're gonna see these themes come back and come back and come back and come back. And you might not necessarily notice them the first time, but as those themes get repeated, they become like a language that you are familiar with. Some people go down, two people go up. So that's about space. Here's one of the few moments where there's some symmetry because what you have hap happening on one side of the stage is similar to the other side of the stage. And then you have two in the middle. So there's a little bit of symmetry in this moment of the dance. going to be directed to the gentleman on the floor, even though there's a lot of other things happening. It's like an organi organized chaos. And it's quite gentle. It goes even more gentle in this section. This is actually an, an exact repeat of the beginning of the dance, but just done slightly more gentle. But it's exactly how the dance started. So there we have repetition. And you'll notice that the woman all the way upstage is gonna get lifted again in, in the same way that she did the very first time in the beginning of the dance, so it becomes a theme. And when we have a theme that gets repeated, it means something, it means that it's important in some way. So that's that moment where she gets lifted again.
sometimes when it slows down, it feels like that's something that's important. You know, why would you slow down to say something with dance? Are you emphasizing it? Lots of tricky pathways there. And then a really tricky pathway there. So here we see these themes come back, the two gentlemen That's a repeat of that lift there. And here's the two ladies that I pointed out in the duet. See, just a little excerpt of that. And we bring it back so it makes it feel like it's something that's important. There's that lift again. And these little themes that get repeated, they just appear out of nowhere. So you don't know that they're gonna come back and then all of a sudden there it is again. So, so all of that is to express an idea with the dance. And then really quickly the themes are gonna come back but so quickly you, you blink and you miss it. There's the two ladies in the middle. The two being lifted up there in the corner. And then all of those themes, all of those ideas like watercolor falling off the canvas and it empties out except for one person.